rectangular. We're using the same relationships, uh, but let's see here. We're going to use r squared is equal to, I do not, he's not in my third period anymore. You're welcome. R squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. That's one of the relationships we're going to be using. Okay, we're also going to be using the relationship that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Okay, we're going to be using those two relationships mostly. We may also um, use our x is equal to our cosine of theta and our y is equal to our sine of theta. Well, we can write that using the inverse tangent, okay? All right, so if we have the polar equation, r equals 3, the radius equals 3. We talked about this yesterday. That was a circle, right? When, the, when they just tell us the radius is 3, that's a circle. So think about what the equation of a circle looks like in rectangular form. We've got x squared and y squared. So here's what we're going to do with this one. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you could go about this. But the easiest thing to do here is to square both sides. R squared is equal to 9. Now, we can use that relationship that R squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared and just replace R squared with X squared plus Y squared. And that's equal to 9. That's it. That's the equation of the circle. Center of the origin, radius of 3. Now, uh, if we did want to solve this for y so that we could graph it, let's do actually talk about that part, though. Uh, we would subtract the x squared from both sides. And y is squared, so we take the square root. Now, here's a good discussion to have. This right here with the plus and minus in front of it is not a function. When it has the plus and the minus in front of it, this is not a function because it's going to fail the vertical line test. But this is the accurate way um, to express the equation of the circle in rectangular form because, I mean, you look at a, a circle, a circle does not pass the vertical line test, but we are still trying to graph circles. So it's not a function, but this is the relation that we are looking for here. Okay? Circles do not pass the vertical line test, so it's not a function, but this is what we do use with the equation. Okay? All right, let's look at B. Theta is equal to pi over 4. Theta is equal to pi over 4. So, again, sometimes there are a bunch of different ways that we can go with these relationships. Uh, the only, well, not the only, but the simplest expression that we have involving theta is tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Now, if we solve that for theta, so that we could sub right here, Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of y over x. So let's do that. Let's do that substitution. We're going to replace theta with the inverse tangent of y over x. And that's equal to pi over 4. So we want to solve for y. Right now y is inside of our trig function, so we've got to get it out of the trig function. So we do the opposite of that trig function. Right now it's the inverse tangent, so the opposite of that is the regular tangent. So that says y over x is equal to the tangent of pi over 4. Do we know the value of the tangent of pi over 4? Mm -hmm. mm, that's the sine of pi over 4. 1. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees. Sine and cosine have the same value, so tangent is going to be 1. So, last step, solving for x, or excuse me, solving for y, we multiply by x. So, 
y equals x is this function, okay, in rectangular form. Theta is equal to pi over 4 is equivalent to the function y equals x. Interesting concept. Okay. R is equal to the cosecant of theta. Now, none of my relationships involve cosecant, so I'm going to rewrite cosecant in terms of sine. That's 1 over sine. And then I don't like to practice the signs in the denominator, so how about we move it to the other side by multiplying both sides by the sine of theta. So what is R sine of theta equal to? It's equal to 1, okay, but what can we replace it with? That was a poorly phrased question. R sine of theta is equal to Y. So Y equals 1 is the rectangular form of the equation R equals the cosecant of theta. Interesting. Now, one last technique, we're here with part D. R is equal to 3 sine of theta plus 6 cosine of theta. Now, wouldn't it be great if the sine and the cosine had R's with them? Because then we could just replace them with X's and Y's. Well, what could we do, perhaps, to, well, not to divide by R. What if we multiply? multiply everything by R. Okay. We multiply everything by R. We can do that because we did it to everything, so our equation is still balanced. As long as you do it to every term, as long as you multiply or divide by the same number or constant or variable or whatever, you're balanced. Okay. Now, what can we replace R squared with? X squared plus Y squared. What can we replace R sine of theta with? Y and R cosine of theta, X. Now, if we're solving for Y, we need Y on one side and X is on the other side. So that means we need to subtract 3Y and we need to subtract x squared. So we've got y squared minus 3y is equal to negative x squared plus 6x. And honestly, there's no way that we're going to be able to completely isolate the y, because even if we factor out a y over here, we're still going to be left with a y inside of uh, the parentheses. So this is something that we call an implicit function, an implicit function or equation. Um, it means that y cannot be completely isolated or separated from everything else in the equation. Um, so uh, that's really as far as we can take it. Um, well, no, I mean, there's still an answer. We just can't solve for y, okay? We can't get y completely by itself. <clears throat> um, so that's as far as we can go. Okay? So, just as a quick review of the techniques that we used. You can square both sides, okay, to make it R squared instead of just plain R so that you can substitute using R squared to equal to X squared plus Y squared. Um, you can use your tangent function to substitute for a theta. We rewrote things in terms of sine and cosine instead of cosecant. Uh, and then you can go through and multiply everything by a uh, variable, in this case r. That's probably about the only thing that you're going to do that with um, to get things in terms of what you want.